going on everyone? Welcome to a brand new movie review for you guys today. And today I'm going to be discussing The Upside. Now The Upside stars Brian Cranston, and Kevin Hart. And it's about a man who's down on his luck, just got out of prison and he's looking for jobs. And well, he stumbles upon a job as a personal caretaker for Brian Cranston's character who is a paraplegic in... Yeah, he's rich also. I know this is a remake off a foreign film. I've never personally seen the foreign film. I've ever heard good things about it. And I heard this film, I, it's coming out in January. It has Kevin Hart. I'm not really the biggest fan of Kevin Hart movie-wise. Stand-up-wise, I think he's pretty funny. Brian Cranston, love the dude. He's one of my favorite shows of all time. The guy can balance drama, comedy, whatever the guy does. I'm always there first day. So with these two paired, it was a little off for me. But this film's actually pretty good. I will say I'm not addressing any of the controversies with Brian Cranston or even Kevin Hart with the Oscars. We're staying away from that. This is a movie review. I'm solely talking about the movie itself. With the controversies aside, I'm not addressing those. I'm talking about the movie, and again, I thought it was pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I went into this movie thinking, oh, you know, it's probably gonna be fine, and I'll never see it again, but I came out of this film easily able to recommend the movie to you. And saying that it is an enjoyable time. It's a very feel-good movie. There's no big dramatic stakes or big, big bombastic comedy points to it. It's just a very feel-good dramedy. That at times does need a little bit help tindering and hindering itself to where it should go. Either the comedy or the dramatic route. Even though it's not able to tilt it perfectly and there are a lot of subplots in here. It's like, oh, what? Why are we opening that subplot? It never goes anywhere. Why are we opening up that? We know where it's going to go. It's going to get a little bit predictable here. And that's really one of my only cons for the film in general is that I can say is the film is totally predictable. You know exactly the story beats it's going to go. It's like the typical dramedy that you would find on your Netflix that comes out and you watch it late at night that fills your heart up with warmth and you do have some good enjoyment to it. It has some pretty solid performances, but you know exactly where it's going to go. I'm just waiting for the fall, the decline to happen so we can get to our climax climax of the story and that's how this film fell i was waiting for it going it's like a soaring up above and i'm like okay where's that decline like every feel good dramedy likes this has that decline oh there it is climax all the way to top done movie's end and it's a feel good ending i i liked where this film ended up going towards the end and what i can really acclaim to this film and i think this is the major reason why this movie works is definitely because of, of brian cranston and kevin hart their chemistry with one another, and actually both their performances. Let me talk about Kevin Hart for a second. Now, the guy usually is known to play the exact same person in every single role. He always plays, oh, I'm a small guy. <laughs> In this one, his height is actually never mentioned as a joke or a punchline, which is actually very surprising to say the least. And he actually plays a person, not someone, someone that you can actually feel for and kind of relate to. A man who just wants a second chance. And there's a lot of elements in this film. There's a lot of moments and words in this movie where they actually like levitate to you. They're not pushed onto you to like a dramatic, hardcore drama pressing where you're like, oh, I'm going to go home thinking about this. But there's some dialogue in here that is levitated and elevated to you where it's like, that's a good lesson to actually learn. Now, Kevin Hart's good in here, but really Brian Cranston's always so damn good in whatever role he does. And he really brings his A-game to this role again. It's not like he mailed it in at all. You really feel for this man and again all those words that i was saying like those moments it's brian cranston that delivers those lines there's one line in here in particular that when he's talking about kevin hart's character dell and it's really stuck with me actually and i like this thing and i think a lot of people should actually think this way within humanity the line is i don't judge a man by his past i judge a man by his present and it's just really like why can't we have this more in humanity maybe i'm thinking a little bit too much in that line with it being this type of movie but again the upside is actually an upside good time before i get to my final thoughts guys let me know what your guys thoughts are on this film did you guys get a chance to see it yet are you looking forward to it let's talk about it down below in the comments plus if you guys are new here consider hitting that like and subscribe button where you guys can find tons of geeky and movie culture over on this channel i do tons of movie reviews every week and i do have a review coming out later this week for glass and of course guys if you guys again if you guys haven't checked out sandwich on films also down below that's how you guys can go check out see movies early so make sure to go check our website out down below again the upside again it's a very upsiding good time it's 
It's a feel-good comedy. You're gonna laugh. You're never gonna get to the emotional crying types of sorts of ways, but you're gonna have your heart filled up with lots of laughs. You're gonna have some good moments to it and that perfectly tilted way where it's too comedy, too dramatic. I think it could have learned a lot from watching a movie like, say, 50-50, where I think that film balanced both the tones perfectly. Even though this film doesn't balance the tones perfectly, I think the film overall works due to the two performances from Kevin Hart and Brian Cranston. They're, they're both irresistible together, and I think with both their performances really being one very different for Kevin Hart, easily being his best performance to date, and Brian Cranston always bringing his A-game, that smooth, suave, man of the hour type of guy he is, it really ends up being a good time at the movies, and it's hard for me to sit here and say you will be disappointed or you're not going to like it. Definitely go give it a check out. I think even if you're not a fan of Kevin Hart, you can still find some interest in this movie. There's some good laughs in here. There's some good dramatic poses to it. And there's some good, really, messages in here. And if you don't check this out in theaters, I think later down the road, you're going to check it out on Netflix or Hulu and be like, that was a good time. But all of a sudden, I'm going to give the upside a B-. minus. Guys, let me know what your guys' thoughts are on the upside down below in the comments. I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts on this one. And tell me, what is your favorite Brian Cranston role and what is your favorite Kevin Hart role? Let's discuss it down below. Again, guys, hit that like and subscribe button. Check out Sandwich on Films, and I'll see you guys soon. Stay classy. <laughs>